Hi, I'm Ashley Kiralo, sharing my heart, music, and home. And today I want to share with you a simple way to write a harmony line for violin or fiddle for any piece of music. Recently at our church, I accompanied a guitar player and a piano player in a trio, and we played He Leadeth Me, and it turned out so beautifully. It was such a simple yet soulful piece of music. And I want to share with you today how I wrote a simple violin or fiddle line to go along with that uh, arrangement that we came up with together. Writing music is definitely an art form. There is creativity and a certain degree of skill level and a certain degree of just raw talent that's necessary. But I think many people don't realize that music is based off of structure. And if a person understands that structure, then really he can create a piece of music. Even someone who doesn't feel like he or she is a composer necessarily, anybody can really write music. And so today I want to share with you four simple tips that I use to write a simple harmony line. And there are four tips that you could use to write a piece of music. My first suggestion for composing music is to know the chord structure of the piece of music. If you know much about music, you know that music is based off of chords. And for example, a chord is, this is C chord. So the C note is on the bottom of my chord and then I build a third up to an E and then another third up to a G. That's a chord. Here's a G chord. The bottom note is a G. Here's an F chord. Music, any style of music is based off of chords. And to write a simple arrangement, you need to know the chord structure. Even if you don't read music, you can still write music, obviously. You just need to know the chords. And you might not even know the names of the chords, but you have it in your ear. So for example, recently at church, we played the hymn, He Leadeth Me. And I just found this online, actually. It's just a simple lead sheet with all of the chord, num or chord names written out. I found this on a website called him chords and I'll link that in the description below. But this is this was very helpful in us creating our own arrangement of He Leadeth Me. So the first step to writing music is make sure that you know your chord structure. If you are comfortable with music and you have a piece of music that maybe doesn't have the chords written out for you, I would strongly recommend taking a moment to write out the chord names. You don't have to write out all the inversions and all the fancy technicalities, but just knowing the names of the chords will help you tremendously and you will thank yourself later as you're composing music to make sure you know all the chords of the piece. My second tip for writing music or writing a harmony line is to follow the chord structure. So those, the chords that we just talked about in step one, it's important that you pay attention to those chords and try to stay within the chords. When the average listener is listening to music, if they hear a lot of notes outside of the chord, they will think that you are playing the wrong notes. Now, those of you that are really comfortable with music, you might enjoy putting a lot of splashy color in your music and adding a lot of notes, and that's great, that's fine. But for this type of music that I'm trying to teach you today, I prefer to stay within the chord structure as much as possible because that's what sounds correct or right to the average listener. Yes, a passing tone here and there sounds lovely and adds a little bit of color, but I don't like to add too many notes that are outside of the chord. So for example, let's say I was playing a C chord and the notes for that are C, E, and G. If I was adding a harmony line, I could play what I call a passing note, which is a note in between two of those notes of the chord. So I could play C, D, E, like this. So I didn't stay very long on the D, it was just a quick note in between. So to the average listener, that's not gonna be a problem or sound like an incorrect note. The sky is really the limit when you're creating a harmony line. One really simple way to create a harmony line is just simply play the notes of the chord. You could play it as an arpeggio, you could play them just as simple quarter notes. Um, let's say I was playing a C chord. I needed to play in C. Or I could do um, arpeggios. There's so many wonderful and exciting ways that you could play a chord. Another fun element that I like to add to, that stays within the chord structure is to walk up or down from one note of the chord to another note. So for example, in this piece, this arrangement that I came up with for He Leadeth Me, I, I needed to play a G chord. 
So what I did is I actually walked down from a B all the way down to a D. So the chord notes in a G chord are G, B, D. So what I did is I started on a B and then I walked my way down to a D. So that's still going to sound like a G chord to the listener because of the notes I'm starting with and ending with, but I added a little bit of musical interest by not just staying on one note. Another idea that will keep you within the chord structure is simply holding a note of the chord for a long duration, say a measure or even several measures. I like this effect. It creates a more subtle sound. It's more in the background and it lets the melody, whatever instrument is taking the melody, really take the lead and really shine. And so the violin or fiddle is just adding a little bit of color in the background. So let's say I needed to play a C chord. I could play maybe an E. So I'm not competing with maybe the C note if the main instrument is playing that, but it just adds a little bit of color. So just holding a long note. And I usually try to play it quietly. So my third tip for today is to vary the rhythm of the harmony line. So you could play the same rhythm as the melody line, say maybe play a third or a sixth above the melody line and stay within the same rhythmic structure. Another thing I love to do, I love to change the rhythm of the harmony line from the melody line. It just creates a little bit more dramatic effect. It's almost like working in 3D instead of just 2D. So you have the melody playing one rhythm and then you have the harmony working in a little bit different rhythm. It, so as one note is being held, maybe several notes are being played quickly on another instrument or one instrument is playing a lot of fast notes while another instrument is holding the note. So for example, if the melody is moving and playing notes that are at least on the beat or even faster in the harmony line, I may hold a long note. So for example, let's say the melody is playing in the chord of G and playing relatively quickly, I could just hold maybe a D. Another thing I love to do so when the melody line is holding, I love to take that opportunity to move in the harmony line and create a little bit of musical interest. And my fourth and final tip for today is just to be boldly creative. Artistry takes courage and it takes courage to overcome the fear of failure. Often I found in my piano and violin playing, I have to fail a lot before I finally arrive at the destination or I finally arrive at what I think is the best choice or the best option. It takes me a lot of doodling and a lot of messing around on the piano or the violin to come up with what I think is the best option. So don't be afraid to try and fail again. What I have found is very helpful is to have a recording of whatever piece I'm working on. So for example, in our latest trio at church, the pianist sent me a recording of her and her husband playing the guitar and the piano together. And so what I did is I played that over and over and over again, and I just kept doodling on my violin and I'd figure out what sounded right and I quickly figured out what did not sound right. Having a recording of the melody so that I can practice and play along is extremely helpful. As I said earlier, nothing that I've shared with you today is extremely profound or extremely complicated or difficult but I hope that you find some inspiration for writing your own music. You can write your own music and I look forward to hearing how this video is a blessing to you. And if it helped you write some music, I would love to hear about it. Please leave me a note in the description, in the comment section below, or send me an email, personal email, ashley at ashleycurello.com. Also, I'm including a free copy of this duet uh, of he, Le he leadeth me the melody and harmony lines, and you can find that free music on my website. I will put a link in the description below for you to find that music.
Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this was a blessing to you. Have a wonderful week.